everybody, I'm Sadie. And I'm Jeannie. And welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, this is the first video we filmed actually together. Today we're going to be playing Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever gotten stitches. <laughs> Never have I ever tried to cut my own hair. Yes, multiple times. When I was really little, I had bangs. <laughs> And um, <laughs> and when I was like three, I cut like a chunk out of the middle of them. Um, so this was more recent than I like to have been. It was like two months ago. I was um, really bored and I wondered if I could like cut my hair with a hole puncher. So I got out like- a You can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so I got out a strand and I put it in the hole puncher and now there's like the half circle in the bottom of my hair. Another time I was in my grandma's bathroom and she had scissors on her vanity and I grabbed them and I cut off like that much and I was like, no one will notice. And then my mom was like, Jeannie, did you cut your hair? And I immediately started crying. Okay, never have I ever put some eating. <laughs> City broke. Never have I ever um, swallowed something that was chokeable. Oh, choked on something. <laughs> Never have I ever choked on something. I have many times. Once I was at my grandma's house, she had this like vase full of like decorative marbles and I thought they were candy. So I grabbed one and I was watching Tangled and I was hanging upside down on a chair and I actually didn't think it was candy. I just like sucking on it and then I swallowed it and I freaked out. And then <laughs> and another time I was eating dry Captain Crunch and it was one of the berries and I was like sucking it in and then I sucked it in too hard and it got like lodged in my throat and I just had to swallow it and <laughs> <laughs> yeah it really hurt because okay. it was scratching. One time I've, I can't believe I did this but I used to like to suck on pennies because I like the metallic <laughs> I did taste that too. I was anemic so I would like suck on poles and like suck yeah. on coins and stuff. I just thought it tasted yummy and <laughs> so I was choking one and then I like swallowed it and but then I coughed it up. And another time I swallowed a peppermint hole and I didn't choke on it, it went down. It was like stuck in my chest and I just had to wait for it to dissolve and it was so painful. My parents had to tell me it was illegal to suck on coins to get me to stop. <laughs> okay, never have I ever cried in public. Yes. Many times. I cry when I laugh and I'm also very emotional, so. I cried in third grade when I lost the spelling bee and I also cried when, do you remember, the other class was having a party oh, for yeah. our teacher, and you were the other uh, class. So Pi, we were in different classes because we did French immersion, mm -hmm. so there were two different classes. Yeah, but they had the same teachers. Yeah. So they were throwing a surprise party for the other teacher. Because she and was it was a new teacher, the no, worst like planned it. surprise party I've ever. Seen. Yeah, it was really poorly planned. Because we had we would like switch classes, but we'd it already was in switched. Fourth grade. So, but we already switched to the other class, so we were in French class. But then we were just gonna go sit in there in the other in the English classroom and hope they didn't notice. <laughs> But and then we also film. We also um, threw the surprise party in, like in our French teacher's classroom, but it was for our English teacher. So so it was anyways, in the wrong class. It was I walked in them. there because you know well, I was supposed to be in that class, and instantly everybody was like, "Don't touch anything! Stop it now!" And they I was made not me cry. involved. I was no, like, but I Kylie was. Oh yes, Kylie, <laughs> Kylie yelled at me. Kylie's aggressive. So yeah, I sat out in the hallway and I was crying, and everybody came up to me and they're like, "Oh my gosh, what?" make a cake and then at the end they were like yeah we're gonna invite you guys for a surprise party i guess and we were like it's the least you can do <laughs> never have i ever googled yourself yes never have i ever been sent to the principal's office yes i, I call telling this story we were sent there i want to yeah so it was fifth grade and we were messing around so we got kicked out of art class <laughs> we were throwing markers well, around you would put like 10 in each of your hands and go like that <laughs> and release them one at a time <laughs> so we could sent us back to class. Yeah. It was actually wasn't art, it was like drama class. It was really stupid. And really so we got sent back to class and so we went on the computers to do IXL. It was like this stupid math thing. But, but we were really just hiding in the cupboards. No, we were gonna hide in the cupboards. Like guys, every teacher comes in and we're hiding in the cupboards. Yeah, which would have been better than what actually happened. No, because then she would have opened the cupboard door and we're like hiding in the cupboard. Open the cupboard door. She came back to look for us. <laughs> okay, so we were um, on the computers. What we would do is we would have one tab open with IXL, like the math thing, and then one tab open with whatever else we were so doing. So yummy. We were watching cooking videos or something. I was playing like quick draw and solitaire and stuff. So we came in, so she came in and we quickly switched it over to IXL. And so she was like, You're not allowed to have computers when a teacher's not in the class. Which so, our teacher never told us that. And we didn't know. 
no. So we were going down. So she took us no, to the principal's office. No, I'm telling the story. Okay. So she took us to the principal's office, and then she told the like the myth, like the vice principal or who was it? Like the lady. No, it was the principal. She told the principal there, like she was like. They were doing IXL. And it was like this <laughs> math thing, like where you like do math, and she was like so mad, and she's like, well. At least they were doing math. And like this teacher, she would get angry for no reason. So like the, I guess. The and then our actual teacher came down and she was like, girls, you know, I've told you many, many times to not have computers while I'm not there. She never told but. that one. <laughs> she was pregnant, like heavily pregnant. And so she would just go down to the end, like the nurse's office to lay down for like an hour and just like leave <laughs> us by ourselves. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame it her, It was so fun. <laughs> but we ended up getting banned from computers for five days. But this is what happened. We would be like, hey, can we do, um, like, I want to I excel, I excel. And she'd be like, yeah, sure, but don't do anything else. She would let us do whatever we want. Never have I ever embarrassed myself in front of my crush. Oh, I actually do have a good video. Uh, a good story. It's fourth grade. Okay, so it's fourth grade. I mean, my friend Leah, we were kind of not really friends yet. We kind of didn't like each other yet, but we were pranking each other a lot. And what she did is I was about to sit down. So she got my crush's attention and I was about to sit down and she like pulled the chair out from under me and then I fell on the floor. But I got revenge because I put a bunch of glue in her pencil box. Never have I ever gotten lost in public. Mm -hmm. I got lost in Disneyland. Oh. Have I told you this story? No. Okay, so we were waiting in line for like the Dumbo ride or something. And then I like saw my cousin, so I like ducked under the thing, you know? And I like left. And then it wasn't actually my cousin. And, and I was just like out there. Like and I couldn't just go back up in line. <laughs> So I just had to wait there. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, my dad, so this is when I was, like, really little, and my dad worked at a boarding school. He was a teacher there. And so as, like, a field trip or whatever, they went to this soccer game in... Large city close to where we live. So, anyways, we were going to this soccer game, and um, I wanted to play under the bleachers because usually I could do that, like, because, you know, like, my... Um, at this one college my I would just like play under the bleachers there because we live in a college town and so there's like this college and we play under the bleachers there <laughs> this is very hard. he's trying to not reveal where we live <laughs> it's really hard okay so my parents wouldn't let me play under the bleachers and as soon as the game was done I ran off to go play under the bleachers and it turns out the bleachers were really boring because usually there's like all these poles that I could climb on and it was really boring it was just like it was, there wasn't anything to climb on. It was really boring, and so I just sat on a pole because I was, like, being stubborn. I was like, no, I'm staying here. And then this old guy, he came up, he was like, come on. He was, like, treating me like a cat. <laughs> he was like, come here. And I got scared, and I ran back to my parents, and my, they were really scared. All righty, that was our Never Have I Ever I've gotten lost other times. <laughs> That's our cool outro. <laughs>